Good morning, tubadors and fern gullies. This will be a short little trip into my own world. There's the big rose bush that was destroyed, and I put it here, and it started to live, and it lived hugely. Here's where the the old peach tree died, and looky here. We've got this peach tree and this peach tree raised from the ashes. I'll tell you what, God is good. Now, if they only tasted like chocolate, I'd be happy. What we're going to do today, Childs and Chileens, is Mr. Peak has got a really neat BB gun, BB pistol. And uh, he was out there kiting around showing it. And uh, I accidentally have one a little newer, or a lot newer, I don't know. And uh, let me get this thing situated. And I was going to see about shooting it one more time before I send it to him. Because you need two of everything if you can. Now how does this... This makes it go that way. This makes it go that way. Yeah. Ugh. Well, you got to be smarter than the thing you're trying to work. Oh, there it is. Yay! And I was going to show how these things would do against a TV that was hit by lightning. It ain't no, it ain't no pumpkin anymore. I went to Memphis. But here is... The one I have. It is a 177 caliber instead of that uh, shotgun shot caliber. It's a full size caliber. So this would probably be the magnum of the bunch. And it's also got an easier way to uh, to put BBs in. It's got a little ramp here and a little hole in there that you rotate the, the barrel. And you just ramp it in through this hole. And there it is. Other than that, it's pretty much the same gun. Now it's loaded and it's ready for action. So uh, we're going to see just how good this thing will work against this TV. Okay, maybe I can hit it. Okay, close your ears. I'm wiggling today, boy. All right. Now close your ears. I missed it. Golly. I think that's it. Let's go see how it did. Oh. Right, I can already see some holes in it. Boy, I, it shoots off. It's going to have to have some, going to have to have some, uh, how do you get this out of here? Huh? Huh? What? Huh? What? I don't know how you get this out of here. Oh, there's the lever. Clever. All right. I can see daylight through this stuff. It's a little BB size hole, that's for sure. Well, I don't know, but I think that's a little bit too far gone for Moslack to, for Doug's repair bench to fix it. But he does wonderful things, so I don't know. I hate to be like Elvis, but you know Elvis, he was a, 
he was a, a rebel, shot lots of TVs. Okay, now we're gonna get the gritty nitty out of it. Now I can hear you say and watch you do. Okay, that's it for, for the cutworm thing. I'm gonna wrap this up. Oh my gosh, it's still. Dang, I, I could have tucked my nose off. Uh, I'll get this wrapped up and send it to you, Mr. Peak. That way you can... Now be careful with this one, because this one makes holes. All right. All right. I love y'all, and thank y'all for watching and putting up with my craziness. And it's a beautiful day here in Arkansas. Uh, had a few storms last night, but not bad. And... Uh, Today it's a beautiful, brand new day. Everything's washed and clean. The cows are happy. And uh, everything's good. I love y'all. Bye-bye.